the rehearsals going on here at Malta Song Festival with together with Raquel. Hello. Hello, hello. Please well, meet you. <laughs> nice to see you again after a one yes. year break with uh, Crossroads. We remember you from 2009. What made you come back? The song. <laughs> <laughs> um, I heard a couple of songs and this was my favorite. Um, the composer is Mark Palink and the uh, lyricist Matthias Strasser and I just fell in love with it. So mm -hmm. yes, and it's a good show and it's, uh, it's fun. So yes, why not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a very professional team is backing you up. How did this collaboration... Um, um, how was this collaboration? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, well, uh, basically, Olivier, uh, he, Olivier Van Oot, um, he's our PR and he helps us out and he called me. I was actually jogging, um, <laughs> outside jogging, and then I get this phone call and I'm like, hello, I know uh, I've heard you at Crossroads and would you like to have a song done by Mark Pilink? Uh, he actually had mentioned Chiara too, and I said, well, why not, you know, give it a, a shot and hear it out, and I loved it, so that's mm -hmm. how it came about. <laughs> Are you more into, like, a kind of a ballad person, or could you sing up tempo? songs as well. Yes, I can sing up-tempo songs um, and in fact we had one that I was about to um, uh, uh, you know, um, submit but I didn't, I didn't do it because Mark fell in love with the ballad more especially because it gives more emotion and I, I tend to give more emotion in a ballad than in, a, than in an upbeat song. Mm -hmm. so. the, strong, uh, the song is as strong as Crossroads. What is the message behind the song? This song, um, if I could do it all again, it's dedicated to my grandmother, really, because she passed away two years ago, and um, it has a very emotional impact on my life. And it is dedicated to anyone who has lost someone very important in their life, and I would relive the experience all over again with her. Mm -hmm. You have a fantastic voice, I have to say. Thank People you. probably have compared you to Christina Aguilera yes. already. <laughs> you don't Which want is... to hear this again. <laughs> no, no, but it is a big compliment. I mean, after all, I started, um, I, I never trained my voice, but um, I had heard uh, Whitney Houston at first, and then Christina and I tried to, you know, um, sing their songs and automatically, you know, you start interpreting them. Um, but it was, um, uh, it's a compliment. So, but I try to establish my own, my own, you know, singer. Yes. And but you sound more natural than her, oh. <laughs> to say. But have you had the opportunity to perform outside Malta? Yes, um, I have performed in Turkey and in uh, Torino, um, Turin. Um, also, I went, well, once to London, but it was something very minor. Um, yes, I have, and uh, they were festivals as well, and I sang with uh, Gigi D'Alessio, he's a, an own Italian singer, and yes, it was great, it's mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. well, when you could sing with an international artist together, who would that be? Huh. Who's your idol? Well, before it was, I used to, I would have really loved to sing with Gigi D'Alessio, but that's my dream, it's over now, I have something else. <laughs> um, right now, well, there is someone, There are. there's a group coming, uh, Blue, <laughs> One day I can sing with them, or Riccardo Cocciante as well. He's a very well-known Italian singer, and he's the best. Like so, I would love to if I had the chance to sing with them. When do you actually did start singing for you? When did you develop your voice for that? Yes, um, it's uh, seven years ago because I started late because I used to focus on the violin. I studied it for seven years, mm -hmm. and it was music. Music is my first inspiration, in fact. And then it just I started singing in choirs and musicals and just. Mm -hmm. The voice just became. Then. I don't naturally. It's from. Some but but besides of singing, do yes. you do something else on Malta? Because we know that, that that singing is part of your life, of, of your course, daily life. Yes, but mm -hmm. also, there's a lot of singers have different jobs as well. Of so course, what, what, yes. is, what do you do? I have uh, just graduated um, from university and I got a bachelor's degree in Italian and history of art. Um, I'm hoping to go to P to do my PGCE now, so perhaps I can start teaching. As I really love teaching. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank fantastic. you. Yes. What do you think of the new format of the show now that they are having a semi final qualifying 16 songs to the quali to the final round? Yeah, I, I agree with it because last year um, the way the semi-finals were on TV and you don't get the show, you, you can't, you have to give at least these 24 a chance to show what they can do on stage and with the lights and projections and everything and the, the right sound because sometimes you know on TV you don't, I mean in a, in a studio, a small studio compared to a big hall, you don't really uh, you know, you don't hear the right thing. So um, yes, I think it's a, a good chance for us for exposure, and they give more of a chance to new people and more people. Yes. Have you received any input from the press? Because I just want to inform you that the international fans from Europe rate you as one of the hottest favorites to win this ah, competition. Oof. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Um, what about the pressure on that one then? The pressure. <laughs> oh, it's it's already a pressure with my composer. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but um, no, I. 
I don't know, I'm just taking it as it comes. I mean, when you think, you aim, you always aim for the A, like in exams, you always aim for the A, um, even because you won't give your best if you don't. So, uh, but then whatever happens, happens. I, it's a good competition this year, so. Um, very, very strong. Yes, yes, and so it's, it's a pleasure to be here and mm -hmm. with such high standards. So. Mm -hmm. So who's behind the, the stage performance, the outfit, the choreography? Uh, the outfit, um, well, my outfit, I got it uh, designed by Charles and Ron. Um, and the, their outfit, I, we got sponsors from Jane Norman in uh, Malta. Um, what, what is their stage present? Um, yes, no, they just between them, the backing vocalists um, did their own, you know, slight choreography. I have the pianist with me, I chose him. <laughs> because that's Pamela, oh, who yes. went to Oslo with Thea last yes, year. Yes, huh? yes. Backing. Uh huh. Yes. No, but I don't have uh, Pamela's backing vocalist. She's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. No, I, I had. I got them from Voices. Really, it's huh? a choir in Malta. They, I, I take part in it. We mm -hmm. sing um, char for charity, mm -hmm. and um, I wanted to choose people who can do harmonies. Obviously. So, so, so you uh, could choose them. Yes, yes, okay, that's yes, good. yes, we chose them this year and uh, yes, till now it's mm -hmm. going great, so now we see. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. For the viewers and listeners, can we have a bit of, of your song from the uh, okay. competition <laughs> this year? All right, yes. You're everything and more, you're the reason why I'm who I am today. There's no place we haven't been And I wouldn't change a thing If I could do it all again And she does it again at the Malta <laughs> Euro Song 2011 Raquel, thank you very thank much Thank you, thank you very much thank you.